day five of us being in the hospital. I think it's day five. And we are finally being discharged. We weren't supposed to be discharged until tomorrow, but um, we asked if we can be discharged today and they said it was fine. So Kadero is over here. <laughs> Holding our sweet little baby. It's actually day seven. Oh. On day six, I'm at. Oh, let me show me face, baby. And I am just picking up stuff around here. I'm about to put on a little makeup so I can feel some decency about myself. So, yeah. But um, we just ordered some, ooh, kind of close. We just ordered some food and we're waiting on that to get here and then we're gonna be ready to go. So, last night was probably the roughest night. Like, she wouldn't sleep. It's like she wanted to keep feeding and it was, oh my gosh. I probably would have lost it if Kadera wasn't there because it was a lot. And then my nipples were hurting because we're breastfeeding. They're like ripped right now. And they're so sore. And it's pretty hard. It's really hard. But um, people keep telling me that it'll get better and it'll get easier. So I'm just going to stick with it. I know that it's the best thing for her. So that's why. I kind of really want to stick with it. But, um, Kadera has been great. He's like the bomb.com over there. Yeah. He's been changing all of her diapers. And I ended, up I ended up having to get a cesarean because I wasn't, um, dilating enough. They put the balloon in me and I dilated probably about um, yeah about two centimeters and then after they took the balloon out <sighs> I dilated for about um, I only got up to four centimeters and that went on for like three days so I was really in labor for like three days they induced me and yeah I was dealing with contractions for like three days and I wanted to go natural with like no epidural or anything and I feel like, I really feel like I could have handled the contractions, but when, once they told me that I wasn't dilating, um, I decided to go ahead and get the epidural so it wouldn't be like an emergency C-section where they wouldn't put me all the way to sleep. But <laughs> even though I did get the epidural, when, when I got the epidural, they ended up having to put me all the way to sleep because... I was still feeling like sensations in my stomach area so even though you know I wasn't able to hear her cry her first cry or anything like that um, you know Cadero was there with her and then I still did skin to skin when I woke up when they woke me up she was skin to skin with me and Cadero told me that the nurse latched her on me as well so of course, I don't remember any of this, but, um, yeah. <sighs> the most important part is that she's here and she's healthy. So, yeah. Good morning, everybody. So, we are on our way to, um, Harlan's doctor's appointment. I don't usually think they go this early, but because um, we was discharged a day early, um, the doctor wanted to make sure that she saw her pediatrician the following Monday because she wasn't really gaining a lot of weight. And um, I'm breastfeeding her, so it could be because my milk storage hasn't come in all the way. So we um, started supplementing just last night and um, it seems to work but the little bit that I do pump is like a little bit under an ounce 
and that seems to like satisfy her. I mean, I know her stomach isn't but that big anyway, so I don't know. But she snuckled up under here. I don't even want to like mess with her for real. She be acting funny, y'all. She be screaming. Her little lungs out. But it seems like she likes being in the car with movement. So we have Daddy up here driving, getting us to our destination safely. Hopefully we get a good report back on her, not disappointment. We'll see. So, we have to strip her down to her diaper. She's not gonna like it. We're looking at her daddy. She's like, daddy, are you gonna protect me? What's going on? But look, I don't need too much to me this morning, okay? A little bit of milk and help out a little bit. Yeah. She's semi drunk. <laughs> she likes semi drunk from that little bit of milk. <laughs> this is a little bit of milk. It was probably like a little bit. It didn't even hit the one ounce line, for real. But she's satisfied with that little bit. I finished pricking my baby with a needle, trying to draw blood. I got her blood, and she was, um, they had to take take a rectal temperature. Babe, did you mean rectal temperature? I had to stick the little thing <laughs> up in her booty, and she just pooped everywhere. She did a good job when she pricked her, though. She didn't even cry. Yeah, she didn't cry when she pricked her, so that was, that was great. Her. Probably because she had that bottle right before. And it's like liquid crack. <laughs> that breast milk will do something to her right there. Look at her, she's knocked out. And she done scratched her little face. We gotta cut her nails. Mm -mm. Baby done scratched her poor little face. I had to pull. Cut it My stomach. Say excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> My baby my wild. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just not been good. Well, I hope you don't come in and smell that. I'm gonna blame it on baby. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame it on my baby. I can blame everything on Harlan now. Every time I have to bark, blame it on Harlan. She just has a little diarrhea. <laughs> so she lost a little weight. Well, she lost, she lost a lot of weight. Well, she weighed six pounds when she was born. Oh my six gosh. Yeah, she stinks. Cut out. That really stinks. Look, it's Harlan. That's so disgusting. She weighed six pounds, seven ounces, so she lost about a half a uh, pound. Just say happy birthday. Look at her smile. Daddy's little girl. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. But yeah, she she started doing better with the crying and stuff ever since we started supplementing with the uh with the formula. So that's been helping out a lot because she's been uh, sleeping, you know, like four hours now at a time. You know, um, besides that, everything else has been great besides our nails. We need to find a way to clip them and see it over there smiling and everything. Okay. I don't know about Good. Oh, 
Das ist gut. Das ist mein Gehirn, Lobs. Hallo, sweet thing. But yeah, she's doing a lot better. You know, she's, uh, when we started supplementing Kansas, wasn't producing enough breast milk. So, you know, she wasn't really getting enough. Uh, you know, through the, through the nipple. But we started pumping yesterday and it, you know, it started to flow a little bit, but we're only getting about uh, one ounce, you know, at the most. Every time. And, you know, and that's total bowl breast, so. I don't know. I'm trying to work it out. So we're leaving the doctor's office now. And, um,. Basically, he just said about her bilirubin level, it got higher. But since she's not like two, three days old, um, he, he thinks that it's gonna that it's at its peak right now. So, um, and also with my breastfeeding, he wants me to continue to supplement. He said that that's probably the best thing that'll um, help her you know bilirubin levels to level out is getting you know more calories in her and she did lose weight so we gotta fatten my little baby up and get it to a healthy weight but um other than that she's doing fine and all is well so now we're gonna go home and continue out the rest of our day do you have anything to say daddy did you need to stop anywhere before we went to the house? Um, no. I don't think so. <laughs> when Kadera was changing her poop diaper, it was so much poop. It was like black liquid almost, but it was still kind of like slimy. Kadera said it smelled like barbecue sauce. So, yeah. I asked him, did he want to taste it to see if it tasted like barbecue sauce, but he declined, so whatever. <laughs> So we're back at the doctor's office, day two. To check, we came back to, um, they had to check her bilirubin again. And look who's up on, I mean, is he the patient? His big <laughs> I am the patient. Are you the patient? My baby's sick. My baby is not sick. My baby is not sick. <laughs> Does his baby look sick to you? Does his baby look sick to you? Hmm. Canara mm -hmm. thinks she looks just like him. She's my little twin. Is she a little, little sweet pea? I don't know. Well, at least she has my nose. Nah, she does. Every baby has a nose like that. Huh? <laughs> so you think her know. nose gonna go away, Canara? Her nose gonna look like mine. Oh my god. My daddy's. Not like daddy's. It's gonna be daddy's little twin. Not like daddy's. To keep looking around. You can see it in her eyes are like a little yellow. That little jaundice, but it looks better than it did yesterday. And she's sleeping so much better now. Oh my gosh. So I mean, that formula helped out so much. Yes. She sleeps, you know, four hours at a time now. Mm-hmm. If not more. Yeah, before she was sleeping like, what, about 30 minutes? <laughs> she sleep like 30 minutes at a time, way back up. Bussy, fine. Mm -hmm. Mommy, sorry. I'm we were sorry, in the hospital. Baby. So we decided to come in Target. This is like our first quote unquote outing. And we're 20. Yeah, we're 20. <laughs> With our um, green tea frappuccinos. With a hint of vanilla. <laughs> She's sleeping. 
so we had our first encounter <laughs> with a stranger want to see our covered up baby so yeah i think we dealt with it pretty good yeah. they all did because i would have been like yeah she she's on, in it she's what she, she, was, she, was, she wanted me to know, she's like why you got to cover up in the stove Lady, what you mean in the stove? Because we want to get people covered up. We need some more little onesies for her. So we're just looking around. So many cute little clothes. 